How's it going, everybody? Today we're checking out Polaris Nightmare. Yeah, I am uh, really excited to check this out, but I'm also a little worried because knowing that Ryan is in this, I have a feeling this might be an emotional one. Um, I'm not 100% positive because I know the first single that we got, that was pretty bouncy, it's pretty groovy, so I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of try to throw a little bit of a curveball at us, kind of switch things up because... You know, anyone who listens to Polaris knows that uh, these guys can do some really, really sad songs, too. I mean, like, th there's ones that mix a little bit of both. You know what I mean? You got the bounciness and the, you know, emotional grit. But, like, oh, I don't know if my heart's ready for this, I'm going to be honest. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. feels a little bit like something you hear in Fit for a King. A little bit. All that lead. Whoa. 
Okay. So, Polaris Nightmare. Yeah, that was actually really, really cool. I wasn't sure how they're gonna go as far as the emotional side of things, because I know Polaris really likes to play around with just these really sad tracks and stuff, and like, it, I mean, they pull at your heartstrings in so many different ways, but they also write songs with meaning. You know, you know, like what they're screaming about, it feels like they're actually screaming about something important. It's not just some random, you, know, you name it, topic. Which, I mean, you know, there's there's a time and a place for that stuff too. But this, this is something different. And Polaris is so good at it. And the fact that they have two vocalists as well really ups that dynamic a bit. I think having someone to do the cleans and do the clean choruses and stuff. And then having someone else to do the screams, you know what I mean? Like, just that dynamic in and of itself is very important. That's why I enjoy bands like, well, Hollowfront, who I just checked out the other day. Um, local boys to me, I love them. And actually, uh, it's funny because Tyler Tate, their vocalist for Hollowfront, actually has a lot of vocal similarities to Jamie Hales of Polaris, at least in my opinion. And I've heard, you know, other people echo that too. But anyway, going back to this, this was really cool. I like how, even though this had a lot of um, emotion in the track, as far as especially like the chorus and once you start reaching the end, like the atmosphere and everything and the buildup and just that that massive ending. Um, I like that there was also bounciness, bounciness to it, excuse me. And, um, you know, it, it felt memorable to me. You know, it wasn't just um, emotional and that's that. This was like, it, it has, everything you could want in just like a metalcore track in my opinion you know i mean it has the catchy ass riffs and grooves the chorus is also catchy um you still got that aggression in there um the leads are fucking awesome i mean you know rest in peace ryan um his guitar work is absolutely phenomenal in this track as well i think it goes so well um i mean you know it's polaris guitars man like <laughs> Come on, come on now. I mean, if you listen to players, you know what you're getting into. Like, they don't mess around. They do not have any... They don't take half measures, okay? Like, they were not messing around with they, when they wrote this song, and I can tell. I mean, this is really, really sick. Um, like I said, though, I, I thought this was just that perfect middle ground of, like, you got the emotion in there, and it, it still... It, it hits you right here, but it was still heavy. You know, it wasn't... They didn't sacrifice the heaviness, which in some cases can totally be fine they have songs or discography where it's less heavy in the traditional sense and it's just very emotionally heavy and the topics that they talk about are so just oh yeah it's it's tough but anyway this is a very enjoyable track i mean everybody was firing on all cylinders of this i am super excited for this album i mean september 1st can't come soon enough actually hold on yes it is september 1st <laughs> i'm not just spewing shit so it will be coming out September 1st, and the album is called Fatalism. So um, I am very excited for Fatalism. I have a feeling this is going to be fucking banger. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, oh my gosh. Like, this is going to have to be one of my top albums of the year. I'm calling it right now. I have a few others that are in my list that I need to check out. And there's other albums that still haven't been talked about yet that could be released. But, dude, this is going to be sick. What'd you guys think about this track? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. And as always, you guys take it easy.